Oh, hello, Michael Lamb from Michael's Alchemy. How are you? Today we're just talking about the zodiac and particular part of the sky we're going to focus on today with this map. This is the Thomas Filsinger map. I love this map. It's fantastic. He's a genius as far as I was concerned with actually mapping out the sky. So here once again is the zodiac as you can see Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. So our sun goes through this like a spiral circle here but it's like a spiral because otherwise you'd be running around circles so we're moving in a spiral aspect through these so our sun our solar system is growing through these star systems actually growing and and and, and moving forward so it's evolution or let's have a look at it this way but this particular part we're talking about today this down here is a lot of uh, energy this is where the um uh, the Milky Way galaxy goes through the tail of Scorpio. I had a friend point that out to me um, quite a few years ago and I thought, oh wow, look, it looks it actually goes through. I thought it was a cloud, but it is. It's actually the, the, the gaseous aspects of millions of stars. Um, here, just where the arrow of Sagittarius, the centaur, or is one centaur, there's another one here, is pointing towards the heart of Scorpio. And this big red giant here's name is Antares. It's, it's a massive sun, it's huge, about 500 times the size of our sun. So it creates a lot of energy. It's a red giant, massive star. And right here with the arrow's point of Sagittarius is galactic center. So how interesting is that, that it points to the center? The centaur points to the center of the galaxy. How interesting. Um, particularly here, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, obviously this is the Southern Cross. You can see that, the Southern Cross. It's on a lot of the flags. And also Alpha Centauri and uh, Alpha Proximus. So that's that lone star, Alpha Centauri, on the um, Australian flag and there with the Southern Cross as well. And as I say, this is a massive energy center here. It seems to balance this part here. And uh, the ancients know this is part of what's called the fixed cross in the sky. So Scorpio representing the eagle and Taurus the winged bull. The winged lion is um, Leo. And of course the winged uh, angel of course is Aries, uh, Aquarius, sorry. So that is air, fire, earth, water. And that creates the fixed cross. 